I've got to prefix this by saying that literally what I'm about to say is nowhere near as bad as what's to come. <laughs> so that's that's all I'm saying. Um, I've never seen the usual suspects. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dude. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Come on, man. I mean, you haven't seen five films, Jules. Hey, so. Yeah, I mean, that's the reason why. That is oh, the reason. No, no, this is the reason why. I have not seen The Usual Suspects because it was sport for me in an IGN review of Assassin's Creed of all things. <laughs> so I'll set the scene. Okay. It's 2007. Okay. Assassin's Creed 1 has just come out and IGN are reviewing the game. And as you do back in those days, you're watching IGN and you're watching the review um, and the guy's like, there's a big, big plot twist in this game, but I won't spoil it for you because it'd be like going into the usual suspects and knowing that Kaiser Soze is Kevin Spacey. Yeah, that is oh. bad. So, you have 12 years to watch it, to be fair. Uh, that's true, but I hadn't really gone into my full film mode at that point in time, so I was just like, oh, I, was, I quite fancy watching that, but it's not happening. I can't do that. I also haven't watched Once Upon a Time in America, uh, which is, I think, like a four hour long film, even though I love Sergio Leone, I'm quite upset about that. And I haven't watched Raging Bull or Mean Streets either. I, the two, I'm not, I've not seen those early Scorsese films. The reason why I haven't seen Raging Bull is because I'm, a, I'm, I'm kind of worried that it'll replace Rocky as my favorite sports film of all time, and I love Rocky, I don't want that to happen. But. It's it's phenomenal, yeah. man. You should definitely see it. I'll though. definitely want, but I'm ne I don't think, I, honestly, I don't think I'll ever see The Usual Suspects. Um, why, though? Because I just have no motivation to see it now that it's been sport for me. And I, I, the, the twist, it's, it's so built around that twist, I feel, that I can't, Seth, I wouldn't be able to enjoy, I wouldn't be able to get lost in the illusion of the film for, for as long as I could with that in the back of my mind. Which is really I can't confirm that I saw Usual Suspect, mm. knowing the twist. Uh. And it was dog eggs like. It'd be like, what? It's it, still it, cast? Nah, it's nah still true, uh, knowing mm. the twist, I was like. Mm. Oh. It'd, be, it'd, be oh, like a, it'd be like going into Fight Club and knowing that uh, yeah. it's not real. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, Awkward. <laughs> So the film I haven't seen that I don't really tell anyone about is Taxi Driver. Oh, because I've already seen it, mate, because back at WrestleMania 21, they were in Hollywood and they did a bunch of promos going, you talking to me? And they did that over and over again. And that's that's pretty much what that film is, right? That's no, like, yeah, no, 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 that is like no. not seeing Cape Fear because they did it in The Simpsons. That's still not a reason to watch the film. What's, His hands what's Cape Fear? Right, okay, you can't see on, on, on off screen, but Ewan's arms gesticulated in a way that was very, very aggressive. I'm fine! Ben Roy, I agree with you, I haven't seen Taxi Driver either, but I get the sense that a Big Show isn't quite on a par with Robert De Niro. Ah, <laughs> oh, but mate, you've not seen the Batista one. Oh yeah, yeah, the Batista yeah. one was better. The sequel and now, better. now Batista, big time actor, he's been in... Skyfall? Skyfall? Spectre? Spectre. Spectre. <laughs> he's been in those Guardians films, he was in Avengers. Twice. <laughs> Don't need to watch it, do I? I've never seen Mission Impossible. Uh, the, the first one, just, 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 you know. The Mission Impossible is your favourite film. It's great. Well, what, what you don't need to go back then, do you? No, I'm joking. Of course I have. It's a phenomenal franchise. It's the best franchise there is. Um, but the film I haven't seen that I really, really should have is The Terminator. What? Whoa! I've seen Terminator 2. I have never seen Terminator 1. All I know is, like, when people talk about it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll be back, eh? <laughs> 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 I've no idea. I've never seen it. I don't know why. I, I love Terminator 2. I think that's fantastic. But I don't want to see a, a baddie, baddie Terminator, Arnie. But that's why yeah, it's I... so good, because of the fact that you're like, oh, look, it's, here he is, but he's good now. I know. So in Terminator 2, they have the big thing where like, you don't know who's going to be the, the good Terminator or the bad Terminator. I, I didn't know anyway. Anyway, I was like... <laughs> I don't know who these people are, so Do you yeah. Think you would go back. And also, the, the worst thing of all is I've seen Terminator Three. <laughs> done the wrong way. Yeah, I've really messed that up, haven't I? Turn back. I'm not ashamed because I hate it. The Indiana Jones movies. Uh, what? <laughs> all of them? No, I saw the first one and then and I hate him. I think he's a terrible character. I just hate he him. He punches the Nazis. That's good, but he also just punches everything. He hasn't got any, any other tack to solve a situation other than maybe I'll lamp it and then the world will he fix itself. That flow. He's got yeah, a, I just, a blast. I don't, I just, don't I'm not. Don't take it. I don't have anything for you other than that I think he I sucks. Hate snakes. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I thought this the. Belongs in the museum. I thought the first one was bad. Yeah. What? That's Sean Connery. Good. <laughs>
<laughs> I tried watching the third one, and then he's like, he's, he's shaking I that woman. The third one? Well, I sort of dipped in a bit, and then. Literally, no point me being here, to be honest. Yeah, yeah get good. <laughs> I watched the third one, and there's that bit where he's like shaking that woman because he wants her to do stuff, and he just seems like he's a bit of a ruffian. And I don't. Nazi? No. Well, I don't know, I didn't watch it, but, yeah. <laughs> so you sort of graciously passed on in, saw him shaking a woman, and was like, I knew it was a bad one. And Billy Jones is cancelled? Yeah, Harrison Ford, not good. So many, according to you, and unbelievably. I haven't seen Star Wars The Last Jedi. I haven't seen uh, half of the Marvel Universe uh, films. Not seen any of them. That's you just out of I don't care, but also Citizen Kane. Ooh, to be fair, everybody says I've seen Citizen Kane. Nobody's seen Citizen Kane. I'm very much of the Lisa Simpson of like, ooh, the Kane from Citizen Kane. Wait, there was no Kane in Citizen <laughs> Kane. It's very much like, I, I laughed because I was like, haha, that's, wait, it's not in there? <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I, I know it's meant to be the greatest uh, film of all time, according to a lot of people, uh, but I just have never got around to seeing it. Like, and I did film studies as well, so I would have thought that it would have come up at that point, but no, they made me watch horrible films instead that were very, very boring. But I'm not going to list them now because it will piss off more people than saying that I hate Citizen Kane. Raise the Lost Ark, gotcha. That's the one, but yeah. The film you can never admit you haven't seen is Star Wars. What the hell, See what, man? this what is the precisely the... <laughs> it's all too low. It's precisely my point, you can never admit. I've seen Star Wars, of course I've seen Star Wars. I'm a nerd and normal, but you can never ever admit you haven't seen Star Wars because nerds, as we all are, get like this when you don't have that one core shared experience. It becomes about your childhood, about your teenage years, about your decisions in adult life. How have you never seen? We have to watch Star Wars and they will bring it over to your house and make you watch it and then sit there like this waiting for you to say it's the best thing you've ever seen. Of course it's not. It's a fine movie. It's great. It spawned all this stuff relatively deservedly, but it's okay. You know what I mean? It's not like Godfather, which you definitely can't make you've never seen, but it's not like, it's just a good film. And if you haven't seen it, you get that. You get the wheel of feel thrown at you with everything looking angry. People need to let go of Star Wars as a shared cultural experience. It hasn't got to be something that everybody's seen. I have a follow-up question. Yes. Have you seen The Godfather? Yes. Tell better than, it's better than Star Wars. The That's the thing though, like, Tell the, truth. the Godfather's the classic example of normal people's version of this because they go, you've never seen The Godfather? Oh, you have to see The Godfather. They don't bring The Godfather to your house with all of their Godfather toys and sit there until you admit that The Godfather is the greatest story ever told. The Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> It's, right, I try so hard to look and appear cool on the outside. I really want people to think oh, we know. I am so, so cool. And yet I've never seen The Princess Bride, which is the oh. coolest hipster film that everyone always talks about. And I've never seen it and I don't know why. Rob Reiner, the director, more like Rob Weiner, he's made some absolutely class <laughs> films. He's made like Misery, he's done Stand By Me. That period is so good in The Princess Bride is smashed right in the middle of it and I've just never gotten around to see it. People quote it at me and it just goes straight over my head. I'm sure it's hilarious. I'm sure it's really funny. I sort of feel like I'm saying that I've never seen The Big Lebowski or something. It's sort of got that cultural touchstone in kind of nerd fandoms and yet, I don't even know what it's about to be honest. I know it's kind of like a fantasy send up. I know Andre the Giant's in it, which yeah. all of those things alone should be enough to make me see it. And yet, at every single time I've had the opportunity to, I go to the, um, the Tyneside Cinema Cult All Nighter, which plays every single year and it shows so many movies. And The Princess Bride is always one of the staples and people get so hyped for it all over Facebook, them leaving comments. They're dressing up. I've never even tried to buy a ticket, never even contemplated buying one. I've seen absolute dire, dire stuff there. I've seen Batman and Robin there <laughs> and not seen The Princess Bride on the big screen that I'm sure people would fall over themselves to try and do. And then, nah, just never. It's so supremely your thing, isn't it? <laughs> you know what? I think that might be why I've avoided it because people keep saying it's my thing and I know it will be, but I'm giving it the contrarian, nah. You don't know me. You don't know me. I know me. I'm one of a kind. I'm one of a kind. I'm unique because I know, I know as soon as I watch it, I'll fall in love with it and have to admit that everyone I thought 
wasn't as cool as me is now right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the same with your music taste, though. If, they, if people have heard of them, you don't want anything to do That's with That's it, you know? I mean, you know what? I've, I've, I've tried my entire life to shake off that hipster kind of cynical thing. Uh, haven't, though. Haven't, though. Haven't, haven't, though. Yeah. haven't tried that hard, evidently. Tried haven't tried, tried that hard. Tried, tried to cultivate it. <laughs> <laughs> no! Princess Pride. <laughs> no! <laughs> um, it's war. Uh, more like eight films I haven't seen. Like, I'm not, I actually don't know how many is in it, but the Fast and Furious, I haven't seen a single Fast oh. and Furious movie. Um, I, I keep saying that I'm going to do it. I'm going to like binge them all and have them back to back and have a great like Fast and Furious weekend or however long it takes to watch all these crazy weird family films. Um, like I feel like they would actually be like completely my sort of thing because they're just big dumb fun with Vin Diesel um, doing big flips and stuff. So I was like, ah, oh, maybe I will try this. And the one time I have actually invested any sort of time into watching The Fast and Furious was 20 minutes of the first film that I was watching and didn't realize it was in Spanish the whole time and I couldn't understand why I didn't know what was going on. I thought I was waiting for the subtitles to kick in and I was like, oh, is it, it's, it's, I didn't realize it was a Spanish film like the whole time but Familia. yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh when, when, when you it? where was i yeah. you were in spain when you watched it no i was in the uk oh then how the <laughs> hell did you get a spanish copy look look i tried to bootleg it off a stream oh, this is <laughs> I, where I tried to bootleg it off a stream i was ready i sat down fast and furious night had it on 20 minutes so i was still like car chases I was like maybe if it, even if it is in Spanish maybe I'll figure out what's going on like I don't know if it was scene setting for a good 20 minutes I thought it was just 20 minutes of them being like okay we're in Spain like that's the theme like this is very intellectually stimulating yeah film. yeah well they're gonna spend all this amount of time without subtitles <laughs> look one. well yeah I haven't seen any of the other ones and it's uh, I can't say I've missed out but I feel like you know we can well, yeah, I feel like it would add to my thing. And Hobbs and Shaw has just come out, so that's kind of like my, my time where I'm like, okay, I really should invest some time into watching all of the Fast and Furious food movies now. But yeah, that's the one that I haven't seen any of them, which I feel like is quite a feat. And then the one that I have seen was a little bit in Spanish. So I still don't really know what's in it. Hello, YouTube. We're turning things up to 11 with the launch of What Culture Music. It's our brand new channel featuring all those lists you just can't get enough of, including creepy hidden messages in your favorite pop songs. As well as radio friendly songs that detail literal murder. That's as well as chatty faces where we get personal with you on our sordid musical tastes, in depth discussion podcasts, and we're even doing quality fun stuff like tournaments and quizzes too. There's going to be something for everybody, so come on over and make some sweet sweet, sweet music with us. Or just watch the videos, that works too. Like, share and subscribe at the link below and we will see you there. Bye. Bye.